Good morning. Yep, hair's not brushed. And I'm gonna transplant some pepper plants because these things are looking good and some of them are looking not so good. So we are going to separate these so they're not fighting because these will not be going out until, I don't know, end of May, end of June maybe. We'll see how the weather goes. So um, they need room to stretch their little roots. Spilling the dirt. And then I'll water them all afterwards. use my hands. I try not to make a mess, but I'm just a mess. I just, I'm always a mess for some reason. <sighs> Probably have to stick some more dirt in this one. It's probably easier if I just use my hands. I have a, another bag underneath my um, dirt so that way I don't waste any and then I'll just shake the bag into the garden bed afterwards. So how are you guys this morning? So far I've dusted the ceiling and the um, walls. You know those little like stringy cobweb things you, you might get? So I took care of those. I do have some pots like this too, but I'm going to need more pots. Um, I'm going to have to probably use some bigger ones. Yep. So yeah, some of these are looking really, really great and others not so good. I'm hoping once I repot the ones that don't look so great. I'm gonna try to maybe separate them into there. We'll see. I don't even know how many pepper plants we have. Um, I put, I don't even think we had this many seeds. I don't even know how we got more pepper plants than we had seeds. I still have more seeds in the house that I took from a pepper and rinsed and dried out. And I'm thinking that those are also going to be good to plant soon. Keep hearing little scuttle prints behind me. So yeah, if you guys are wondering what I've been doing lately, I don't have time in my day to get everything done. It's like I'm trying to do priority and there's things that are not getting done because I'm doing things like this. Right now I have a load of laundry in the washing machine. Imagine that, more laundry after the four loads I did the other day. And I still have blankets over here. I think there's like four, five, six blankets over there that I have to do. So these are the ones that are dried out. 
and I'm going to see if I can't take a couple per cell and just kind of split them up to see if I can't I don't know guys I don't the roots look good but I don't know I don't think they look good I'm just gonna put them off to the side same thing with those ones these ones look good I want to get these really, really healthy ones, though, into their own pots, and I have lots and lots of those. So, if we can get these separated. So, what happens is they get these little legs, these little roots, and they need room to expand, and what they do is they're fighting each other I didn't mean to get that many in each cell, but I always plant more than one seed in each cell, like two, three, four plants, you know? But some of these, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven plants in that one, I don't know how many, one, two, three, four, five, six in that one. <clears throat> oh, I got pots of flying. but I'm glad to be finally getting these done because they really need their own pot. And the reason I planted early is because I was looking at the weather and the predictions in the farmer's almanac and it looks like the, it was either I plant the plants that I had in outside or I was gonna lose them inside because it got to the point where they were growing so fast, so well. My stepdad told me I needed to get them in the ground. So we have plastic out there if we need to, but these peppers can't go out until it goes a consecutive 60 degrees or so. But I was watching um, Jess from Roots and Refuge Farm and she was saying that when you plant your peppers out later, they actually do better than if you planted them out and gave them a head start. The head start is in their own little pots in the house or in a greenhouse where it's warmer. She said that um, they don't take kindly to cooler temperatures right now. So I'm going with what she said. <laughs> I might even tag her in this video. I don't have a fancy greenhouse like you do, but we've only been in this house. It'll be four years this coming August. And we actually moved in early. Um, that one doesn't look great. Um, I'm going to leave that in the cell. So we actually moved in here early, and we lived here before our closing. So August 15th, we moved in, but our closing wasn't until September 5th. So we've lived here four years coming up on August 15th. But we didn't own the house until September 5th, which is my brother's birthday. I'm going to need more pots. I do not know how many pepper plants we have. This is insane. Absolutely insane. This should help so they can spread out their little legs, their roots. Yep. I 
I try to keep them in the meadow, but it doesn't always work out that way. <coughs> I may have to put some in bigger pots. I don't really have any more small pots. Kind of relaxing out here though, just, I should have turned the light on. So when I bring these back inside, I'm gonna have to put them on a tray because these ones have the holes. Actually do two in here. It's probably not a good idea though. Uh, I'll just do the one. I just got a big pile of handful of dirt in my lap and I did that. Okay, well, this is the last pot. The last pot. Kind of like the last melon. I don't remember what. It was that Ice Age with that little crazy squirrel always running through the movie with that nut. The last melon. Those dodo birds all jumped off the cliff with the last melon. I do have a spoon. I'm not using it. Okay. Can this guy lift up a little bit more? I had it down too far. All right, well, I guess we're gonna have to go look for some more pots. I have a bunch, but they're all too, they're all too big. <laughs> My grays are showing, it's pretty, not. All right, so I think I have some in here. We still have to, we cleaned out this part of the woodshed, but we still have some miscellaneous things to take care of. Let's see. Uh, all these bags have to go in. I got some pots here. I want to save the ones that I have though for the tomatoes too, so. I may have to find things around the house. I'm not going out and buying pots. Um, those egg crate looking ones were six for a dollar at Dollar General. Um, that one's really too big. This one, I'm gonna have to cut that thing off. Let's go see in the garage. I also have more out by the raised garden beds, but I think I already put the ones in here out there. A couple more. These will be okay for the tomatoes. Ooh, the crazy garage, which we also have to still clean up and organize. That dumpster though really helped us a lot. So I think I'm gonna leave these for the tomatoes because these ones are bigger. There's two there and I don't know, I might, I might use that one in the house.
let's see. Oh, there's some small ones still out here. So I still have all of my crazy garbage out here. Uh, and a water bottle. So here's a smaller one. This is mostly what I'm looking for. But we'll see. So we do have some smaller ones. They're not ideal, but they're small enough. I could probably put a couple in each one, at least until I'm able to get them in the ground. There we go. Ugh. There's some more. Yeah, and I can just put a, probably spread them out and do two, probably three per one. All right, so now we have a bunch for the tomatoes. And I think, I don't know, we'll bring these over just in case. But I'm gonna start smallest to biggest. Fun times. <laughs> I love the birds outside. I do not care for birds in the house. If I want to hear the birds, I'll go outside. Even in the winter. I just, uh, I can't with that. Okay. <laughs> I'm having problems lately with pants. But I refuse to buy any more clothes because I still have clothes that I can wash up that are in storage. And totes around the house. Oh, that one's got, oh, that's why. I was going to say, well, still, even still, that one's got a good root system on it. I know, behind me is full of more crap from when I was out the other day in the garden. I've got containers that I was filling with water because I didn't want to use the hose water right now. So I was going inside and getting warmer water because I didn't want to be taking plants that have been warm in the house and going splashing them with ice cold water. I just kept thinking to myself that would be a lot like going into the shower and all of a sudden the water just is like blasting freezing cold so I wish these were shallower honestly these I know they're bigger but they're actually more shallow so let's see I could probably move these off from here and use my tray I need more trays, and I think I have more in the house, but I don't know, guys. You guys get the gist of what I'm doing today. I still have all of those, all of these, and all of these, plus watermelon and tomatoes, tomatoes in the house. Yeah. So I guess we'll, we'll see how this looks. I got my bucket down here and spooning it in. This might take a while. I don't have to fill it all the way up, but I would like to give them a good start. All right, well, I might do three in here. There's one, two, and then we'll open this one up. I'm 
we'll do three. So that gives them enough space to be happy and have some leg room. And then we'll go through and fill it in, back fill it in with a little bit more dirt. Nope. That didn't work very well. I ended up burying one of them. I'm going to leave this in its own cell back in here. We got howlers. I think that's someone's dog. Sometimes we have like, I don't know, we've had dogs down here a mile away from their home or more chasing deer. So sometimes we'll hear somebody's dog that doesn't normally belong here and you'll hear them howl. It's not a coyote or anything. I'm pretty sure that was just a dog. Okay. These things have been drying out so much every day that it's been insane. I might do I might do some more in here. I don't want to transplant them too many more times, but this is a pretty good sized pot. So I'm gonna do some more. I don't think it'll hurt. <sighs> Alright, I'll put one little one in the middle. Ta-da. Alright, well. That'll work. All right, guys. Well, well, I guess we can go a little bit longer. Um, it's been beautiful here lately. my spoon I was throwing into the bag of the bag of dirt so I got the bag of dirt inside of another bag this might work better guys poke so they'll be separated and have room for their little legs their roots to grow yeah, they'll be repotted. And this also might be easier for me to, I don't know what's going on with that one. You can tell some of them were definitely suffering. So it's good to start your plants early. However, I did find that after a while, I did not keep up as well as I thought I was going to be able to. Crazy crow. All right, so it looks like we're doing about one, two, three, four, five, six per pot. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that still gives them some room to grow. I'm happy with that. All right, we're going to set those on the ground, give us more room. And then this way I should be able to get them all somewhat separated, you know? <clears throat> so, so far, yeah, I did, I think a couple of pots before I hit record, but so far we've gotten, well, Four, eight, twelve, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, uh, and then the two big pots down there. So we're doing pretty good. Like I said, some of them don't look too great. 
and I think those I'm going to put back in a cell and these are all like dried up they look wilted and I think it was because they're all fighting for nutrients to spread their legs and they just couldn't spread out because those little trays next year I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just plant them well no I can't really do that I don't know I don't know guys let me know what I should do I just can't believe that they all took off and then like I got more plants than I it doesn't make sense I got more plants than I did seeds I do not remember putting this many seeds in here at all nope So I'll go around and hug all these before I water them, stand them all upright. I know some of you who live in places where it's chilly longer, I know that you can probably feel my pain wanting to get things started and not being able to put them outside and if I don't have a greenhouse yet that's something we're gonna have to work on um so these I'm gonna put back into their cells to see if I can't save them and what I'm gonna do is plant one in each cell that I just took all those plants out of and we'll see if we can't get them. I don't know, guys. These look pretty bad. They're so, yeah, this should have been done like a week ago or more. Yeah. Well, we definitely have more than enough, though, pepper plants. I mean, we're really not going to need all these peppers. But then again, I mean... If you're talking food and survival, I should really be like, I should be trying to save every single one of these suckers because that means food and you can can it. Later, you can pickle them. My husband does not like green peppers. My daughter only like my youngest daughter only likes um, raw green peppers. My other two daughters just love peppers. They don't care how they get them cooked. Um, geez. Cooked or raw, they'll eat them. My husband calls green peppers mangoes. He's from a part of Ohio where they call them mangoes. Not everyone in Ohio calls them mangoes just where he was from. Even the pizza joint, I think it was called peach, Peaches. They sold like pizza and stuff. They actually had on the menu, instead of green peppers, it said mangoes. Yep. And mangoes to me are fruit. So I was a little confused when he told me he didn't like mangoes when I was trying to feed him a green pepper. That one's really big. It's a good size. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, that's good. I should probably move this one over there. So, so far we have four pots of six. Uh, well, I don't know why I keep grabbing for that pot. Probably because it's in front of me. <laughs> but I should probably fill this pot 
and get these last ones done and then I'll continue off camera because I don't want to keep you guys I don't want to bore you guys but I am also trying to show you my mess behind me because now that while I'm doing this that mess is isn't getting any that mess behind me is not getting picked up I'm just busy I know people have gotten a little upset with me not answering emails or doing this or doing that but guys I'm sorry like I'm only one person and I'm getting a little overwhelmed and I'm not saying that to make y'all feel bad I just it does help though if you do email me to tell me in the chat and I, I can I'll go right then and there and I'll go get your email I've actually been doing that um, I get a lot of emails, not just from you guys, but just other emails as well that I need to address and pay attention to. I am trying. I hope I'm not coming off as witchy or ungrateful, and I definitely do not want to be left alone. I mean... I want you guys to talk with me and email me. Just um, know that I may not get it get it right away. And I know a lot of you understand. I know really you all understand. <sighs> my grandson's birthday is today, by the way. I FaceTimed my daughter and him earlier this morning. And he was just waking up. And he says, Mama, I just woke up. I said, well, why are you just waking up? I've been up for hours, bud. <laughs> I remember when he used to wake up at the crack of dawn. Now he's all like 9.30 a.m., like just now getting up. Ay, ay, ay. All right, well now I'm gonna separate some of these that don't look majorly wilted away and um, see how they go. Um, I may even plant, I mean the roots look good, so I might just plant them all of the roots that look well and backfill them back in with some dirt. But these ones down here are, I believe, gone. So I, I might throw them into the garden bed to see if they do something but I, I, I don't I don't think so nope I might do I don't know one more right there all right guys well have an awesome day I'm a dirty mess and after I get these plants done, I need to water them all and clean up my mess and then clean up out there and then go back inside and finish doing in there what I was doing. And I also have to blow out this patio still. I mean, we still have the yard to do. I, I can't get it all done in one day. I, I'm frustrated. I'm very overwhelmed. I'm not going to lie. All right, I love you guys. I really please hope you don't take offense to that, but I'm trying to show that I am seriously not getting things done. Also, I want to be able to be on YouTube because, well, because I do. All right, love you guys. Talk to you later.